Hello and welcome, this is Rob Chisholm at Free Flight Brighton. Today we're going to talk about thermalin and what to expect. First things, when you're flying your wing, is it certified with a non-pod harness or a pod harness? Something you should look into. Without that, you may find the certifications not valid. When thermalin, I much more like to thermal away from a ridge, nothing to hit. So how do we look at a thermal? Well, if we take this area here, the blue will represent the cold air and the centre where it's warmer, hotter, etc. is where the thermals rise in the quickest. So it's important to be able to visualise a thermal. So if you can't and you you know run into them or you get them, how, how do you know what to do? So if you watch this pilot here, who's kindly uh, loaned us the video for the use of this tutorial, so thank you, Chris. Um, his varia is going beep, 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 it goes up, and then the outside of the wing there is outside of the thermal. This one's more dramatic, so um, you can see from the video, you can get into an awful lot of problems um, simply just by exiting the thermal at the end of the day. And a lot of people, when they do start to thermal, they can be pushed out of the thermal. So if you look at that video again, you'll see the glider actually leans, uh, that's because the lines, the risers drop on that side and the pilot's weight goes to that side. So it's not instinctive, but you should lean the other way, get the weight back into the wing. If there's any questions that may worry about things like this, I personally would recommend SIV course. I'll put a list of people below who are able to teach you these things. And I do recommend every time you upgrade your wing, uh, as in go into more performance, I'd recommend you do an SIV. You don't need to do full stalls a whole lot. You could just go out there, collapse the front leading edge, or the, the glider itself and it'll give you confidence but do take on board if you're flying and it happens for real and you're away from the ridge there's a lot of time to think about it if it happens when you're close to the ridge as you saw in the second video at the beginning there's limited time ultimately you may have to deploy your reserve and that's another thing you should really know where is my reserve you don't need to look for it you just throw it uh, a common mistake is people don't pull the reserve handle away from the velcro and it can weld itself shut over time so make sure it's clean and tidy if you get dragged and one day you may find bits of grass in there etc make sure your pins uh, connected so that that's it for now it's just short and sweet and mainly aimed at you people to start asking questions many thanks robert free flight